Now, Google Calendar is a bit funny. In the old days, when you shared a calendar with someone, it would send an email to them and say, here you go, you can click a button now and you can add this calendar into your Google Calendar. But it didn't always work. Sometimes it would add a calendar automatically for someone or sometimes they would have to click a button to add the calendar. And there was never really a rhyme or reason why it would happen each way. It was always really confusing. And so using this link sharing has always been a surefire way. All right, so we've got a question here from Can 19 uh, I have a team of over 500. Is there a way to create a link, not a public link, but a link to view a Google group calendar? Or do I have to input individual email addresses? When you're creating a shared resource for a number of people inside your business, you probably do want to have a way of sharing that resource with them via a link rather than just sharing it individually or one by one or adding people one by one. The smartest way to share a resource with a group of people inside a Google Workspace account is to actually use a group because group-based permissions and specifically I'm talking about security groups that you can set up in your admin panel will allow you to have one shared resource shared with a bunch of people and any person you add to that group will retroactively be given access to any of that group's resources. So it's very easy to set up. And so that group, when you, for example, add a person to a calendar event, maybe you've got like a recurring sales meeting, weekly catch up for the sales team. Well, what you would do is when you onboard a new person to your sales team, you add them to the sales group inside your admin panel. And then automatically, they're gonna get access to all of the recurring calendar events and actually access a group-based calendar or share access to a group-based calendar. So I'll show you what my calendars look like on my screen here. So on the left-hand side of my screen, I've got my own kind of like Peter Moriarty calendar here, but then I've also got a number of other calendars here and some of these are group calendars. So I'll use our marketing calendar as an example here. We call that the attract team. And if I go into the settings and sharing for my marketing calendar, that's gonna actually show me all of the information about that calendar there. Now, if I scroll down, you can actually see there's a number of different URLs for this calendar. And you can see, I'm not gonna reveal the whole URL, but I won't show that for you. But you can see here, there are individual URLs for each one of those calendars. Now, I'm just gonna double check because I'm pretty sure even though this URL says that it's public, I'm pretty sure if I open that in an incognito tab, it's gonna ask me to sign in. So I went and attempted to share that public URL and it actually asked me to sign in to Google Calendar, which tells me that it's not gonna allow me to access this calendar unless I actually have permission. So if somebody is a member of the correct group that has the correct permission, they will be able to see this calendar. And so if I go ahead and open up the calendar in a separate tab, and the reason I'm not showing you the individual URLs is just for security, even though there's really no way you'd ever be able to get access to it, but just in case, let me open it up here. So I've got the individual calendar here, and that's showing me the events on the calendar. So when I'm in the calendar settings, you'll see here access permissions for events and get shareable link. When I click on to get shareable link, I can copy that link straight from there. And with that shareable link, I can actually share that to anyone inside my company. And so as long as they are a member of the group, that shareable link will open up the calendar. Now, Google Calendar is a bit funny. In the old days, when you shared a calendar with someone, it would send an email to them and say, here you go, you can click a button now and you can add this calendar into your Google Calendar. But it didn't always work. Sometimes it would add a calendar automatically for someone or sometimes they would have to click a button to add the calendar. And there was never really a rhyme or reason why it would happen each way. It was always really confusing. And so using this link sharing has always been a surefire way to know, okay, I wanna add that calendar into my Google Calendar, click this one button and it will always open up that calendar. So as long as you have permission, it's gonna allow you to open it. You could embed that into a Google document and link it from there. You can make that a bookmark in your Google Chrome policies and have that bookmark appear inside someone's Google Chrome. You could just drop that to them in chat. You could pin it in a task management app or somewhere else on your website. Lots of different ways where you can share that link and allow someone to get access to that. If you like this content, please hit subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can be notified when we go live or drop new content on the channel. Now, if you'd like to connect with us, hit us up on social media or join our free community group. All the links to that are right below this video. 
If you'd like to learn more about Google Workspace and the technology ecosystem, you can join our free Genius Academy by transferring your billing across to IT Genius, or you can join a Workspace Basics Bootcamp. Now, if you're a business owner and you're interested in an audit on your technology stack or your Workspace account, or you're looking to do a project in the tech world, well, you can take advantage of our free consultation. And if you need help right now, then consider joining Concierge or taking up a quick fix with our team for professional support for your tech stack.